Hello everyone. Welcome to Let's Rock. My name is Sivan Sukla and this is the third part of Mindology Numericals. If you have not watched my previous video yet, I have I will give the link in description below. And one more thing, join my Telegram group for attending daily quizzes. Link is in the description. So let's start today's video. The first question is taken from Jam 2019 and it says the difference between SI is to O ratio of K fills bar and olivine is. Now we have to give answer in two decimal places. Okay, so the first approach of solving this question is that when you know when you do not know the chemical composition of K fills bar and olivine, but you know that K fills bar belongs to tectosilicate or frame back silicate, where SI is to O ratio is 1 is to 2, that is 0 0.25. 0 0.5 and olivine belongs to nesosilicate in which SI is to O ratio is 1 is to 4 that is 0 0.25. Now in order to calculate the difference in SI is to O ratio of K fills bar and olivine what you have to do you have to just subtract 1 by 2 to 1 by 4 that is SI is to O ratio of fembrous silicate to SI is to O ratio of nesosilicate. And that will equals to 1 by 4 or you can say 0 0.25. So this is your answer in the case where you do not know the chemical composition of K fills bar and olivine. Now the second approach for this solving this question is one in which you know the chemical composition of K fills bar and olivine. And in my opinion, this is the best approach because everyone should know exactly the chemical composition of K fills bar and olivine. So now the chemical composition of K fills bar is what? It is KALSI308. Now if you see SI is to O ratio that is there are 3 moles of SI and 8, 8 atoms of oxygen is there. So SI is to O is equal to 3 is to 8 that is 0 0.375. And in olivine MGFESIO4 SI is to O ratio is what? 1 is to 4 that is 0 0.25. Now, the difference in SI to O ratio of K fills bar and olivine is what? You have to just subtract the SI to O ratio of K fills bar to SI to O ratio of olivine. That is 0 0.375, 0 0.375 minus 0 0.250 and the answer is 0 0.125. Or since the question is asking in two decimal place, therefore the answer should be either 0 0.12 or 0 0.13, both are right. Okay. Now, so there is a question that SI is to O ratio is least in which silicate structure. Now, if you know the SI is to O ratio in all the silicate structure, then you can easily calculate that which in which silicate structure the SI is to O ratio is least. So please do calculate and let me know in the comment section that what is the answer. Now, next question. The question is taken from Jam 2019 and the question says the radii of A plus 2 and B minus ions are 1.12 angstrom and 1.31 angstrom respectively. The coordination number of A plus 2 ion in mineral AB2 is. Now this question is asking about the cation coordination number and in order to find the cation coordination number you have to calculate first radius ratio and radius ratio is calculated by radius of cation divided by radius of anion. So, in the question, radius of cation is given that is 1.12 angstrom and radius of anion is given that is 1.31 angstrom. Now, to calculate radius ratio, you have to just divide radius of cation to radius of anion that is 1.12 divided by 1.31 and that is equals to 0 0.855 in this question. Now, after calculating radius ratio, you have, you have to take the help of this table. Now, this column is for radius ratio that is how much you have calculated a radius ratio and this column is for corresponding coordination number of cation. Now since in our question in this question the radius ratio is what the radius ratio is 0 0.855 and it comes under 0 0.732 to 1.0. So the corresponding coordination number of cation is what is 8. So clearly the radius ratio of given mineral AB2 lies in between 0 0.732 to 1. So the coordination number of cation A plus 2 is what? Is 8. Okay. So you should remember the radius ratio uh, and the corresponding coordination number that if radius ratio lies between 0 0.15 to 0 0.225 then the, radius, uh, then the coordination number of cation is 3. If the cation, if the cation uh, 
coordination number is 4 then the radius ratio should be what should be 0 0.2 to 5 to 0 0.414 if the radius ratio is 0 0.414 to 0 0.732 then the cation coordination number should be 6 if the radius ratio is 0 0.732 to 1 then the coordination number should be what 8 and if radius ratio is greater or equal than 1 then the coordination number is what 12 so you should have to remember this table to answer this type of question okay so as far as in this question the coordination number of a plus 2 ion in mineral ab2 is concerned the correct answer is 8 okay so here is the third question and this question is taken from jam 2017 and the question is asking about the birefringence of a mineral of thickness 30 micrometer and retardation 0.27 micrometer is so we have to calculate the birefringence of a mineral whose thickness is given that is 30 micrometer and retardation is also given that is 0.27 micrometer and we have to answer in two decimal place so these two data are given that is thickness 30 micrometer and retardation 0.27 micrometer since in previous video we have already discussed that retardation is equals to birefringence into thickness that is 0.27 micrometer is equals to birefringence this is for birefringence uh, into 30 micrometer now here we have two things retardation and thickness given we have to calculate just only uh, birefringence, birefringence so we can calculate it easily so from here birefringence will equals to 0.27 divided by 30 this 30 here it's in multiply uh, if uh, it will go in opposite side it will be in divide so by reference equals to 0 0.27 divided by 30 and the correct answer of uh, this question will be 0 0.009 so clearly the answer is uh, itself in three decimal places one two three three decimal places so you have to write just only 0 0.009 so the by reference of given mineral will be 0 0.009 Okay, next question. Next question is taken from Jam 2020 and the question says if 3 to x is the Miller index of a crystal phase, then the value of x in the corresponding base parameter of the same phase x a y b z c is. Now in previous videos we have solved where these parameters were given and we have to calculate the Miller index of the given crystal phase. Now in this question Miller index is given and we have to calculate the value of x in this parameter. So first we have to calculate the Vs parameter and since we know that Miller index is reciprocal of a V symbol so it will apply vice versa that V symbol is also a reciprocal of Miller index. Okay now in order to find V symbol of a, of a crystal phase whose Miller index is what 3 to 6 we have to do the same procedure as we have done in calculating Miller index from Vs parameter that first of all write the Miller index 3 to 6 then recipe, uh, then inverse these numbers and on inverting you will get 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 1 by 6. Again we have to clear the fraction and in order to clear the fraction we have to multiply this by 6 because LCM of 3, 2 and 6 is what 6. So we have to mul multiply this uh, by 6 and on multiplying we will get 2, 3 and 1 and this is the V's parameter of a given crystal phase of the same crystal phase whose Miller index was what 3 to 6. Now since V's parameter uh, we have found uh, we have find the V's parameter 2, 3, 1. So the value of X in the above V symbol will be what 2 and the value of Y will be 3 and the value of Z will be 1. Okay. Now since the question is asking about the value of X in corresponding V's parameter. So the correct answer of this question will be what? Two, you have to write just only 2 not all this by V's parameter if the question were asking about only V's parameter that define uh, find the corresponding V's parameter of the same phase then you should write 2 3 1 but since the question is asking about the value of X in corresponding V's parameter so the correct answer will be 2 okay so the last question of this video and the question is taken from jam 2017 and the question says the mole percentage of forestite component in olivine with chemical formula mg 1.8 fe 0.2 sio4 is so this is the chemical formula given for olivine and in this chemical formula or in this olivine we have to calculate the mole percentage of what forestite so first of all we should know the chemical composition of forestite and the chemical composition of forestite is what mg2 sio4 now, number of moles of magnesium present in forestite are what, uh, how much? 2. 
and number of moles of magnesium present in olivine is 1.8 now in order to calculate the mole percentage of forestite in olivine what you have to do you have to divide you have to divide the number of moles of magnesium present in olivine to number of moles of magnesium present in forestite that is 1.8 divided by 2 and since it is asking about mole percentage so you have to multiply it by 100 now 1.8 divided by 2 is equals to 90 percent now if this question were asking about the mole percentage of phyllite component present in olivine then then how you will how, how you will calculate you have to do five since composition of a uh, phyllite you know is what fe2 sio4 now you have to calculate the mole percentage of phyllite in the given olivine so you have to do what you have to just 0 0.2 divide by 2 multiplied by 100 okay so this will equals to 10 percent okay so uh, like this you solve uh, these type of questions and one question is for you guys try to solve this that uh, find the mole percentage of phyllite in olivine in olivine with chemical formula mg 1.2 fe 0 0.8 sio4 try to solve this and uh, if you if you are unable to do this please let me know in comment section and if you solve this please uh, write the answer in the comment box so uh, that's it for today if you like the video please don't forget to press the like button and also don't forget to uh, press on the uh, subscribe button and also press the bell icon and uh, uh, share among all of all your friends keep learning stay safe and let's meet on next video thank you